Gotti, give me that power. Green on. Ahead, walk back to two. Go to yellow alert. Got it. Give me that power. Scotty, get us out of here. Green on. Go to yellow alert. Red alert. Scotty, get us out of here. It's the main junction circuitry. I'll get it. Fun fact, I don't think... Oh shit, my camera's not on. <laughs> Fun fact, I don't think we've ever played any of the games in that intro. But we'll get there. Hello! Uh, for those that missed it, we, Cranky has just finished opening his packs. Thank you very much, Cranky, for doing that in the Discord. It's good fun. Mm. And I feel sorry that you didn't get any artifacts, but hey, here we are. So yes, do you know what? I felt like just playing some old RetroArch, uh, RetroArch emulated Star Trek games. So why not? Let's do that tonight. Uh, it's Saturday night. Saturday night. And no, we won't do that here. We do not do that here. Um, why are you not running? There we go. Right. Oh, why are you not appearing on the stream? Yes, there we go. Okay. So yes, this is RetroArch. It looks like a PlayStation menu because that's how I've set up. We have quite a few... Oh, is it going to load the icons? We've got quite a few old Star Trek games here. I want to test out a Game Boy version of the next generation. Oh my gosh. Uh, I've got a few more somewhere as well. Beyond the next... A Generations Game Boy game. I didn't even know this existed until today. And I have, I have my uh, Xbox controller hooked up for this. Um, I'm just going to do a quick run, uh, a search. I've also got uh, Star Trek Invasion for the PlayStation as well. I need to find... Very Bear with me a second because uh, I'm not used to this layout yet. <laughs> yeah, I've got a shitload of these games anyway. Game Boy TNG was your first game? Wow! Uh, I need to... How do I search all my games? Uh, that's my favourite. That's what I last played. Don't judge me. Guinan! Okay. Oh, Elorian Communicator. That makes a lot of sense. Oh, here we go. Search. Search name. Let's just see what... what. Um, I could use my keyboard. It's right in front of me. <laughs> use it for the space bar. There we go. And that one? No. Uh, go. Haha, uh -huh. right, so we've got 25th anniversary. I mean, we know the 25th anniversary, but for the Game Boy? Oh my word, next generation and generations. Okay, so these are the games. And DS9, Crossroads of Time. Uh, so they're the ones we've seen anyway. We'll go back. Right, so let's start. Nope, where am I? Uh, I'm kind of tempted to start Crossroads of Time. This is 
I know this is really a frustrating game. But it's, it is literally the only one of three Deep Space Nine games. The others being Harbinger and... Ah, uh, what's the third one called? It was uh, like a Quake clone. Well, it was based on the Quake 3 engine. Anyway, let's get into it. Let's run. Right, let's just wait for the stream to catch up. Hang on. Are you going to do it? Hey, there we go. Nice. Let me know about audio as well. Playmates, wow. Didn't know they made this. Right, let me just sort the volume out a second. Oh, sorry, it's gonna pause it. Let me turn the volume down a bit. There we go. Come on, there we go. So this is, yeah, the kind of game we have a password to get to the things. Three hull repair and maker for pretty consistent 16. Yeah, we've been working about the, uh, working on the hull repair setups. Oh shit, what buttons am I using here? Uh, no, that one? Let's see what the options are. Oh, sound, uh, SFX test. I never got why they included these in games. Oh, I thought I bugged it then. <laughs> Let's start DS9, the crossroads of time. I think it's pretty mad they made a, a DS9 game at all, but no Voyager games. Okay, what? Star King? Oh, there we go. Stage of Star Date 4871. Commander Benjamin Sisko reporting political turmoil on nearby Bajor has slowed our usual flow of visitors. If not for a Cardassian warship, the station would be very quiet. There was a Voyager arcade room. Oh, the yeah. Elite Force. Yes. Of course there was. Yeah. Stupid me. Of course there was. Commander says, go to Sodo. Please meet me in security. On my way, Odo. Why is this music? <laughs> wow. Uh, okay, right. Let me get the controls down. What we got? Oh, we got a punch. I'm not Cisco. No, uh, I'm not Picard. I'm not Picard. I'm not Picard. Okay, how do I jump? Aha! We can do a flying leap. Can we just do a stationary jump? This is, yes, this is certainly some Trek music. What are you doing, Commander? It's not cool, Cisco. Yes, this is season one to three, but uh, Picard, if you say Picard, Cisco. He is not Picard. Right, so that's my punch. That's my jump. I like how he jumps with his arms in the air. Hey, da ba dee! Right, how do we go through a door? Let's try that. Okay, right, we're here. So that's Cisco's office. Oh, look, it's Kira. Can we talk to Kira? How about no? How do we talk to Kira? Aha! Everything in order, Major. So it's why to talk. Yes, Commander, nothing much happening. And ship at lower pylon three is behaving. Okay, it's why to do that. Oh, O'Brien! Uh, talk to O'Brien. Oh, great. Is something wrong, O'Brien? The security grid is malfunctioning. Bloody Cardassian equipment. Always breaking down. Yep, that's seven seasons of development there. Oh, really? Silver Millsy, this was actually in a game before this? Fuck me, he can pace? Look at this! Look at the pace on Cisco! Practice in the uh, Olympics now. Uh, right, we've done Kira. Who else we got? Dax! What are you working on, Dax? Just running some routine scans on the wormhole. <laughs> What's this music? It's amazing. How do I get to Quarks and Dan? And Dan oh, hang on, I've just seen there's an icon in the top corner. Ooh! This is your empty hand. This is... Okay. Okay. Uh, we should probably take a turbo lift. Uh, existing engine. Yeah, I can see. I mean, there's enough art, art assets here that they've, they've built on the monsters. Oh, well, the music definitely. Boy. Hi Jake. 
What are you doing? Hi, Dad. I'm waiting for Nog to show up. Is he just gonna stand there? Let me do this. Hey, the birdie, the animal. This is going to try to make Riker like, proud here, would not it? Uh, right, let's carry on going this way. No idea what I'm doing. Turn my left. Oh, who's this? <laughs> You've made this station a boring shore leave stop, human. Jake is short the bedroom. Yeah, I mean, you can tell by the beard. <laughs> All the lack thereof. Yeah, yes. Size, size matters. Boing. Oh, no, this is the end. This is how the commander of the station gets about. <laughs> oh, Quarks! Yes, we're going to Quarks. Let's go to Quarks. Ooh, who's this guy? The service here is terrible! Quark! How's the business, Quark? Not bad, although Cardassians are my favourite customers. Well, okay, good luck. If you're not going to place a bet, get away! Get away! <laughs> Jake, yeah, Jake's not. Can I place a bet? Play Darbo, Commander? No thanks, I'm on duty. Well, just boring. Let's go up there. Oh, wow. Wow, that's the most pointless game inclusion ever. <laughs> Let's go to a level we can't do anything with. Fucking pace on this guy. Can we get up here? Ugh. My god, the controls are fiddly. Oh, Morn! Morn! Can't talk to Morn. Fuck me! Ah. Can I jump over here? No. What was jump? No. Cut down. Can't talk to more. Why am I here? Right, let's go. Promenade. Okay. Uh, so that's Turbulence back to Ops. Ooh, let's see what's up here. Hmm. What the fuck do we ever see more upstairs? That's a good point, actually. There's not much up here. What are we even doing in this game? <laughs> we go this way? No. Oh, I need to see... I need to see... Oh, outer ring. Oh, I need to see... Uh, oh, no, no, no. Access to outer ring temporarily denied. I'm the fucking commander of the station. Ah, uh, Odo. Let's go talk to Odo. Odo! One of our technicians was attacked in docking pylon 3. Dr. Bashir is examining her now. Have you arrested her? I apologise for the really bad DS9 voices. Not yeah. I am not any of these people. Okay, what am I supposed to do then? Odo. Oh, no. Any leads on who attacked the technician? Not yet, still checking. Alright, maybe I need to go to that docking pylon? I don't have to. No, I have to be standing right exactly in front of it. Well, what the fuck am I supposed to be doing here? Quark! This, the Bajoran Temple. Oh, who is this? Who speaks to this person? Oh, this is quiet, isn't it? Okay. Uh, let's go in here. Ah! Feel my pa? Please enter the prophet and wait you. Another time, perhaps. Another time. Uh, oh, Bashir! Dr. Odo told me about your patient. How is she? Fine. Someone just stunned her, but she wasn't robbed or hurt. Game. No. No. Read temporarily denied. I think I spoke to this guy, didn't I? Oh, may I serve? Oh, it's Garrick! How oh, may I serve you, Connor? Thanks, Garrick. Oh, okay. Remember plain, simple Garrick. I always remember plain, simple Garrick. Turbo lift, quarks. Can you explain what I'm supposed to be doing in this game? <laughs> said someone's been attacked. That's great. Can't go to where... Can't go to the Majoran Temple. Can't talk to this guy. Oh, I can. No, they've got one. You have to... Yes, it's quiet, isn't it? Okay, so that's where that came from. Is this place? No. No. That's the Majora Shrine. Odo's off. Odo! Come on, Odo. What the fuck am I doing? By the way, if anyone has any ideas, please let me know. <laughs> Odo, you, you summoned me here. Just Any leads on a second technician? Not yet, still checking. Well, that's real helpful. I 
can't go up to the outer ring yet. That's nothing. Maybe there's another upstairs. Maybe I need to go back to Ops. I'll go back to Ops. Go to my... No, we can't do that. No, I couldn't seem to enter sick bay. I'm going to my office. Uh, oh, that's still my empty hand. Uh, okay. Dax, you need to know what's going on. Sensors detect some anti-proton emissions in lower pylon 3. I'm going to send Chief O'Brien down to check it out. He's busy with the security grid. I'll do it. Aha, okay. I modified a tricolor to detect the emissions. Thanks, I'll try to find the source for you. Okay, okay, right. We're on a plan, so maybe, hopefully, I can get into the lower pylon now. Oh, wait, no, that's my office. Hmm. This music's a bit much, really, isn't it? Right, where's the lower pylons? Pylon corridor. Oh my god, you got to be like. Hey. Yeah, come on, let me in. Come on. <laughs> I can't go in this one. I'll check it out. I still gotta check it out. Ah, there we go. Right. Ooh. Pylon 3 maintenance access way. Hold down to activate a lift. Down to activate lift. Oh, I've got a tricorder. How do I use it? Ooh. Right, okay. Aha. Uh. Oh my god. Right. <gasps> it's a dead crew member. Major, I found a stunned crewman. Pylon 3. Understood. I'll beam him directly to the infirmary. Item taken. What did I take? Press up to activate compound. Oh my gosh. Uh, materialize? What? What am I doing here? Materialize. Transport. Unable to transport. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. I should look at... Reverse platform. What am I doing here? Uh, okay. How do I do that tricolor thingy? Oh, this is weird. Press up to activate the comm panel. Uh, how do I get back up? Right, hang on. Uh, this is my lift, wasn't it? No. Man, this. This game is obtuse. Oh, he's gone. Okay, so I'm going to guess I'm going to transform. Right, let's try and work this out. Materialize on the right. Dematerialize? Reverse platform three. Ah, platform transported. Ah, right, there we go. I took 
I did something. This is such an annoying game. Right. Uh, no. Fire the button up. No. Two minutes to exploding? What? Wait, what? No, I just want to go up. Oh no, I have to do it up. Like that. Wait, what? But that's... what? I don't like that there's two minutes to exploding. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, this is so annoying. Press up to it. No, I don't... I'm gonna blow everything up, aren't I? Right. But hang on, do I... I need to go to the top. Right, let's... Hold down to actually get left. Yeah, I've done that. But I can't... Go all the way up and go left? No, can't do that. Pilot access causeway. Okay, hang on. Drug order? This is like... What is he doing? One minute to exploding? Oh, for fuck's sake. If I fail this, we'll move on. <laughs> Do that. But, but I don't I don't get it. Why? Right, hang on, do I need to jump? Haha! Right, we're over here now. But why? Is this just like the most obtuse game ever? Huh? What where did I just go? Oh, I can climb. Now he's, oh, there we go. Right, okay. I think we're going to be blowing up things up in a minute. If anyone's got any ideas, let me know. I can't get over there. How do we do that? Uh oh. I guess I died. Communications with Space Station. D Climb up the ledges on the right, apparently. Okay. Requesting nearest starfish ship event. Let's, let's not. <laughs> That's a weird game. All right. Uh, let's close that one. We'll move on. <laughs> Zero minutes to exploding. That is a bizarre game. That is... Um, something to be said for those old, old games that they are... Uh, they tend to not make things so explanatory. That's one of the Game Boy games. I'm sure there was an original. I, I'm kind of intrigued by a Genesis. <laughs> Great series finale. <laughs> nice. I'm kind of intrigued by a Generations game on the Game Boy. So let, let's have a look at this. Uh, yes, that one. Oh, cool set. Yeah, run. Game Boy Color, no less. Wow. Okay, 1994. Oh wow. Ugh. What are we doing? Oh, concert. Oh right, this is the intro. Okay, fine. <laughs> Graphics by Gregory A. Facon. Bob Raffae. All right. Wow. There was a Bajoran with a Belitrian grenade up there. Could use if you're catching. <laughs> right. Let's start the game. USS Enterprise Bree is launching with Captain Kirk and Demora Sulu at the. Oh. Uh, what? Uh, what are we doing? Oh, I see. How do I move? Ah. We're shooting something apparently in this Generations game. Oh. What am I doing? Oh, we're nearly dead. It does look like a throw in, doesn't it? Uh, come on! What is going on? Why am I shooting th The Enterprise Bree has been destroyed! <laughs> awesome! We- <laughs> Let's just try that again! Right, 
What? Right, Enterprise is launching with Captain Demorto at the... Right, there's a thoroughly end. Let's get him. What are these games even? Am I firing properly? I mean... Ah, I did get it. I'm gonna guess that this is running stupidly fast because we're running this on a modern system and not an original Game Boy. Come on! Uh, ah. Alright, let's go. Uh, let's one down here. Let's get this one. Upgrade your captain's bridge. <laughs> but why Why are we fighting Tholians? Ah! Is there any buttons? No, that's paused. I mean, the Game Boy only has like three buttons. I don't have any torpedoes. I, mean, I understand this is a Game Boy game, but Christ, yeah, photons won't be installed till Tuesday. I mean, this is only one of the few games you'll. Ah, I got him. Ah, I got him! Yes! Right, let's get this fucker. Yeah, we're doing better now. Oh, uh, hang on. We've lost one. Where is he? Is this a target? Oh no, we're being hit. Ah, there it is. Yes. It's not about this game. How do you even play this on a Game Boy? Like, with a screen that doesn't even have a light... With, like, it's not even backlit. Stick to a target. Yes. There it is. We did okay. Phaser shields are holding. Phaser, he said phaser are holding. This is such a weird way to start a game. <laughs> By the way. Yes, there we go. See when it flashes, that's when we get it. Ah. Haha. -ha. Think you can run at the Enterprise B, motherfucker? That's what Harriman would say, by the way. No, let's stick to our target. How many things have I got to kill? Have I got to kill them all? Ah! Alright. Why are we fighting Tholians? In generations? Yeah, we get we get my owner for it now. Why is the Kirk in command of the bee? Why is he always? Oh, did a big hit on me there. Do my shields heal? Hold steady. It's time. Is this ever gonna just let me win? Come on. It's so finicky as well, like there's no aim assist here. Yes. Yes, there we go. Ugh. Oh I can I can Ah I didn't realise I've just been tapping to fire. Oh wait, where are my phases gone? Uh, I've lost phases. Oh, does it take ages to recharge? Oh my god, it does. Right, yeah, we were better off tapping. Yes. <gasps> Sorry, I'm into this now. <laughs> so far, better than Crossroads of Time. Yeah, I'm trying to leave my target, that doesn't work. <laughs> Maybe I need to let it... Oh, damn it. Well, this is incredibly annoying. I bet this is like the whole game. Come on, just die! Ugh. 
I wonder if anyone's sped running this. Oh, shield's going down. Right. Oh. Man, this is why I hate fly simulators. Come on. Let me find someone to kill. <laughs> ah, there he is. Oh my god. Right, let's just let's fly the other way. Can bank round, hopefully. If that's how this game works. I just I don't think it does. <laughs> I think they're trying to fire at me. Where are they gone? Can we go down? No. We can go left or right. Okay, we can't go up. Oh, we can go up. Ah, there's one. <gasps> you think in such three-dimensional terms. Okay, face and shields are at full. Aha, there's one. Okay. Right, we'll give this a few more moments. Maybe we'll destroy a couple more Tholian ships and then see how this goes. Oh, this is so annoying. How would you play this on the screen the size of your thumb? Like, it's ridiculous. Uh oh, we're nearly dead. Mm, I mean... Good on them for trying to do 3D combat on a Game Boy. But, no. Ah. Come on, we're getting hits in. Why am I not killing anyone? And my faces are down. Come on, there was like several hits there! Come on. Yes! That's like an IE fire, yeah. IE, IE, IE fire? TIE fire, you mean. <laughs> Come on, we're gonna destroy one. We'll give us a few more minutes and then if I haven't destroyed anyone. I bet there's like another button somewhere that's like, scan for peace. TIE Fighter. Yeah, this is kind of TIE Fighter-esque, but... Shitter. <laughs> Why will you not actually not die? <sighs> Alright, I'm done with that. <laughs> that's really crap. <laughs> Oh. What has that got to do with anything Generations? That's ridiculous. Right, okay. Uh, what's in my favourites? Um, Starfleet Academy for the SNES? Or we've got some, a couple of Next Generation games. We've got three Next Generation games. Or Futures Past. They did do their best. Yeah, it's amazing what we can do for... A, I'm kind of intrigued by this Futures Past. Futures past. Let's try this for the snares. Yes, I know I'm waking up in nine hours. I'm not actually waking up in nine hours. It's, it's Sunday. Ooh. Oh. Oh, the music's a bit quiet. Captain's log. The Enterprise is currently patrolling a region near the Romulan neutral zone. Romulan High Command claims a team of their researchers vanished into the neutral zone over a month ago. Starfleet offered to assist as a sign of goodwill, but the Romulans declined, citing security reasons. Three days ago, they asked for permission to enter the neutral zone and conduct... <laughs> conduct? Okay, I guess I'm pressing the wrong button there. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, the music's really quiet. Let me boost this up a bit. Hang on. Pop that back up to there. There we go. Okay. Oh, wow. This is cool. <gasps> wow. Look at this. It's like my sensors. Computers. Uh, is this, like... Hang on. This is weird. Because look at the uniform. Oh, mind you. It's kind of got a collar there. Troy's in a, in a Starfleet uniform. 
Okay, right, let's go. Communications. No, A doesn't do anything. X doesn't do anything. Y doesn't do anything. Start? No, that just pauses. B? Ah. I am Telerius. Telerius? I'm Telerius as well. Doctor of Archaeology. Investigating the legend of the integrated field. De sorry. The in integrated field randomizer at the ruins of Codis Movie Mu6. I have just detected a Romulan ship approaching. I am in need of. Let's press the right button here. I pressed the wrong button. Right. Fuck, fuck's sake. Uh, con. What, what? Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, I forget where I'm supposed to be going. Oh. No, I'm going here. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice. Right, we're warping. Uh, briefing room. Let's go there. Set course for Codis Mu V. Mu 6. I keep saying V. Dr. Telerius is one of the... So Codis Mu 6. Okay. Right, I'm, I think I'm going the wrong way. Are we there yet? Codis... That's cool. We're in Korax. How do we come out of Korax? I don't want to go to Korax. Oops. No, I know. I'm going to go to Codis. Transporter room. Engineering? What are we doing engineering? Oh, wow. Shields. Oh, wow, gosh. Uh, uh, how do we go back out of that button? Weapons. Okay. Engines. Warp. Yeah. Okay, I can't do anything there, really. Uh, computers. Uh -huh. Hmm. Oh wow, there's a full freaking computer library here. Frengel. The very little known of Frengel. The species of the Fre- I thought it was Fringanar. This must have been previous to DS9. Home species of the Fr The Federation Expedition has never approached Frengel. <laughs> Planet criteria are body enough. Okay. Romulus. Federation name of the home planet of the Romulans. Okay. Star. Runaway star. Yeah, okay. Okay, a little bit of old oh, technology. Wow, the theory of wow field theory for for warp drives measurement. Okay. Okay, I found my buttons now. I know what I'm doing. He says. Computer sensors. What we got? F class Corax Zeta. Okay. So what we need to do? Can we go? Can I talk to Riker? Briefing room. Okay, let's go. Communications. Oh, hang on. We're getting communicated. Yes, this is Doctor. Okay. Can't keep the wrong. Yes, I'm aware of that. Con. Ah, here we go. Oh, what was the place called? Um. Oops. What did I just do? Con. Right. Was it Codis? Press B to walk. No, I don't want to walk. Yes. Codis. No. Iota, Lambda, ah, Mu, Mu, ha, let's go. Mu, six, yes. I, I, no. I thought it was Codis Mu, yeah, Codis Mu were there. Press B to wall. I'm pressing the wrong button. Ah, A is B on this. We're going, we're on our way. I love the, love the small little sort of TNG theme in the background. At least that makes more sense than the freaking disco that was on there. Should we see how, how soon we're going to get there? Time. 192, 172. Okay, we'll be there soon. Approaching imminently. I like the good little bit of real-time travel in this. That's quite nice. There's certainly like... Oh, here we go. We have arrived at Codis Moo. Right, briefing room. So of course, yeah, we're there. Mu six. Oh no, I'm only in Codis. Oh, I'm on six A. Wait, what? Hang on, hang on. Ah, in gauge impulse. Okay, we're here now. 
We're at current location, Codis Mu 6. Oh, we should transport down. That's what. No. We need to beam down, don't we? To the transporter room! The Enterprise has responded to a distress beacon from the Vulcan archaeologist, Dr. Tellerius. She claims to have been harassed by her Romulans at the dig. By the Romulans at the dig. There's no sign of Romulan ship in orbit, but that doesn't rule out their presence on the surface. We haven't heard anything from Dr. Tellerius since we've got here. May she have taken somewhere. Remember, this is a Helix scroll. This is a Federation world. The Romulans should be careful here. Be careful. Yes. Ooh! Ooh, I get to choose a lineup! Oh, wow. Okay, so we got Picard, Riker, Wes Nihi, Scott Plant Pelland, Joyce Worley, Russ Kakola, Leslie Swan, Ed Semred, Troy, Data, Jerdy, we got Leanne McDermott, Vince Matthews, Mike. Oh, I see, we can give it stats as well. Wow. Leslie Mizzle, Elizabeth Olsen. Wow, fucking Scarlet Witch is here. <laughs> Ready to fight you. Yeah, this is more combat, isn't it? I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to take Elizabeth Olsen. I've got to make sure I press the right button here as well. Uh, okay. Okay, uh, how do I skip next one? Press A to transport down. No, I don't want to do that. I want to... No, whoops. What did I just do? Oh, I went down. I went backwards. I think we'd better go to the view screen and answer the hail. Okay. Take the worth. Yeah, we'll have to take worth. God damn it, I pressed the wrong button. Answer the hail. Romulan subspace message intercepted by Starfleet. Text is encrypted. Code is unavailable. Wonderful. Right, that was really pointless. Yeah, thank you. So, I want Elizabeth Olsen. But how do I select the next one? No, no, I don't. Do I just get to pick one? I want to pick more than one. Hang on. That button. Uh, press. Press A to transport down. No. Oh, okay. We're going with Elizabeth Olsen. Maybe we can only pick the one. We're going with the Scarlet Witch. <gasps> Oh, wow. Right, what do we do? We can, we can just... Okay, I guess this is my tricorder. No item. Oh, I have no other items. I don't have a phaser. Can I select a different crew? Hi. Uh, how do I select a different person? <laughs> you guys gonna come with me or are you just gonna wait for watch me to die? All the buttons here. Yeah, this is this is like primitive. I'm sure I'm missing a button here. Uh, no, that's pause. Right, oh uh, no. How do I change character? Oh, we're being up. <laughs> well, that was quick. Maybe I can choose a different character. Maybe I'll choose the Worf. Yeah, thank you. Let's go for... Go for the Worf. Maybe he'll, he'll have a phaser. Ah! What's he got? No, hold on. Command. Nope. What does that do? Phaser. Ha! Right, this is what we want. We want the Worf. Look at this. Look, he's just like a... Yeah! It's like a... Ha! Fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay, let's go. Wow. It's nice games with something else, weren't they? I see those Romulans. Ha! I can shoot you at any time. Ha! Uh, okay. Wow, this is some good game design. <laughs> Dude. How do I select other characters? Maybe I just went the wrong way. Uh, what does command do? It doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, look. 
a button. I pressed the button. Ah. Ah. Take that, Romulan scum. Kill all the Romulans? Gotta kill all the Romulans. Oh look, switch. <laughs> oh, you! Aha! Thank you for coming to my aid. The Romulans might have seriously disrupted my work. You're welcome. Did we do a mission? Did I complete something? Uh oh. Tactical. <gasps> Ooh, what are we doing? Ah! How do I move? Is this? Oh wow. Oh good. Enemy hailing. Fuck the enemy. Oh. <laughs> I my torpedo, bitch. <laughs> wow, that was kind of awesome. Check through my airlock crew and pull the Hansons back and found on airlock Keiko too. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Uh, briefing room. This is kind of cool. I think we best go on to the hail. Okay, of all the Star Trek games i played, this is probably the most entertaining. This is Admiral Baldwin, but he's got captain's pips. Inaccurate. We received a distress signal from Ori Orientus Alpha 4? No, yeah, 4. The plague has been spreading. Deliver medical aid now. That matter with the Romulan scout ship wasn't handled very well. Oh, I don't care if they did fire first. You shouldn't have destroyed it without giving them... I did try and press the buttons. Only the Romulan situation worse. We've been intercepting lots of code of Romulan message. I'm worried they're up to something. We need some way to break their code. Okay. I'm guessing when they said the Romulan ship was hailing, I could have pressed a button. Where am I going now? Where am I going? What did he say? Briefing room. Aha. Uh -huh. Set a course for Orientus Alpha 4. Okay, Orientus Alpha 4. This is quite a cool game. I quite enjoy this. This is how you do a TNG game. Right, con. Orientus. Alpha. Four. Oh no, uh, back. Applause for using Rashros. <laughs> I think I went to the moon. I went to the wrong place. I think we went the wrong way. We need to re reset the con. Uh, how do I go back? Orius and Alpha four. Right, let's go there. Meanwhile, can we go to 10 forward? Go get, like, smashed. Briefing room, sensors. Due to sustenance interface and generated by the warp drives. Oh, oh, what happened? I didn't press a button there. <gasps> Red alert! We're being attacked by something. <gasps> Again with the Romulans! Oh god, the controls are really weird. They're like tank controls. So I just did sick drifts in space. Oh my god, this is weird. I fucking love the music. No, no, no. This way, this way, this way. Oh, boy, the torpedoes! Ah, oh, no, no. I seem to have just like infinite torpedoes, so let's do that. Uh, no, don't get hit by the, Run away! Oh my god! Yeah, this probably is a lot faster than the original. Oh my god, this is really hard. I keep running to every single one of their torpedoes. I think I might die here. Uh, oh my god, this is so hard. Back 
this way, back this way, back this way. Wait, what's going on? Oh, I see. Right, right. I'm going to hang out the controls now. Right. No, no, no. Right, let's turn. Let's eat my torpedoes. Wait, what, 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 what? Hang on. Why am I not firing? Oh my god. Okay, warbirds are slightly harder. Where are my phasers? Yeah, miss this. Miss me, bitch. Oh no. Where am I? Where are my phasers? I think my phasers might be dead. Some torpedo tires again, nice. Why are my faces not working? Okay, I think we're gonna die soon. Yeah, yeah we're dead. <laughs> All hands! Lost in the line of duty. Okay. Bizarre. Okay. <laughs> oh my word. Okay, right, let's close that one. Uh, right, what else have we got? 25th anniversary for the Game Boy. Uh, cross over time. I think we'll do 25th anniversary for the Game Boy. Let me have a quick wee. Got to put on my be right back. Oh wow, why is that going over the whole screen? There we go, be right back. I'll be back in a second. And then we'll do some 25th anniversary. <sighs> In the event of a water landing, I have been designed to serve as a flotation device. Sorry, Ronaldo. Oh, Ronaldo, you're not a subscriber anymore. What a shame. Uh, I'm going to open one of my favorite beers at the moment. This, I've got a few cans of this I save for special occasions, but I, I, it's a maple and pecan. Hickory clan caviar, it's a maple and pecan and Danish stone. <gasps> Good, faithful, cranky. Right, let me just uh, pour this out. Deep. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Deep and dark and lovely. Oh, it smells good. Right. Let's do some 25th anniversary runtime. Oh, hang on. I've already played this one. Oh, I think I played this one as a test. Uh, why is the controller not working? Hang on. Am I not on the window? There we go. No. There. What's going on? Right. 25th anniversary. Let's go. Yeah, I think I tested this one. Oh, hang on, my BRB back soon is still on. <laughs> Let's turn that off. Uh, do do do. There we go. Nineteen ninety one wasn't that long ago. He says. <laughs> Realising that it's nearly 30 years ago. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh my gosh. Wow, okay. Oh, Bill Stanton again. Right, let's start. Admiral McQuilkin? Oh, look at this guy. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Greetings, Captain Kirk. A challenge facing you today carries grave consequences for the future of the galaxy. A giant machine known as the Doomsday Machine <laughs> now roams space, obliterating whole worlds in its path. Its origin unknown, having detected its approach five months ago. Our Federation engineers began the production of the Protomatter Fusion Disruptor, a powerful new device believe, believe, we believe to be capable of stopping the giant machine. <laughs> Doomsday Machine, how funny. Just as the planet killer entered the bounds of Federation space, a fully functional disruptor was being installed in the USS Excalibur to be taken to the Sector Alpha 9 to, the, to confront the menace. <laughs> Tragically, the Klingons, having learned of the disruptor's existence, but not, like, existence, but not its purpose, and fearing its use against their empire, have intercepted and disabled the Excalibur. They have stolen the disruptor and unwittingly doomed countless worlds to extinction preliminary investigation has revealed that the Klingons, for the purpose of security, have disassembled the disruptor and hidden it in 12 pieces on three separate worlds, because that's what Klingons do. What's this music? Your mission is to recover the disruptor and stop the planet killer. Our intelligence reports suggest Planet Neural, ooh, that's, um, shit, known as planet, isn't it? Uh, in... Okay, uh, what, 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 what? Uh... Oh, gosh, right. Okay! Cool. I've got a limited amount of torpedoes. Machines are. Ooh, what's that? Ah, oh, missed it. Oh, okay, so I go forward and back. Okay. Oh shit, we took a hit, we took a hit. Captain's log, start aid. 418.3.2. Ow! <laughs> <We hit. laughs> Captain, <laughs> Lieutenant Sulu uh, has gone nuts. He's flying all over the place. I'm guessing that's a big planet I don't want to go towards. Ooh, oh, I'm getting gravitational pull. Look at that. Wow. Uh, I don't like this. Oh my god, it's getting hectic. Torpedoes! Myself being pulled up towards that. Oh, oh can we go warp speed? Oh, let's do that. Oh my gosh. Oh. Ooh, wow! Ah. Can do the shield recharge. Oh wow, we just got that one just in time. Let's go, let's go. Shields are real low. Oh shit! Wow. Ah! Oh, I don't know what I'll do again. Okay. Let's hang back. Let's chill out. Let's chill out back here. Oh, my weapons are range. What else can we do? Ooh. Change power allocation. Let's do it to phases. Okay. Oh, I didn't even know that. That was cool. Oops, wrong button. Ah, so I get a longer range on my phases here. That's quite cool. This might be a good advantage point. Yeah, no, maybe not. Okay, I'm definitely slow. Maybe I'll just get more and more of the con, actually. Actually, let's maybe put more into speed. So phases, speed, or shields. A bit more speed. Give me more neural. Oh yeah, that's the shit. Yeah, look at this. Wow, wow, wow. Oops. Oh. Okay, yeah, yeah. This feels a bit more like it. Yes. Which 
games. This is 25th anniversary for the uh, Game Boy. <laughs> This is the whole game. I'm actually most impressed by that Star Trek one. Uh, Star Trek one. The next gen oh shit. By the next generation one. No, I'm crap. Maybe we don't need to go whole. Maybe put more into shields. We'll balance it between. Can I lock out phases? That'd be nice. Might be a defender in the arcade. Yeah, I mean, this is good. Oh, I keep pressing that button. My fault for going through an asteroid field. Warp speed! Can I get like a phaser upgrade? Can we sue for peace with these asteroids? gonna loop me back. Okay. Okay. I've seen this. I've seen this. Yeah, what are the odds? <laughs> okay, what else have we not done? Uh, Starfleet Academy for the snares. I've heard it all kinds of trash, so let's do that. Cool set. Let's go. We play Klingon Academy. Let's do Starfleet Academy. Oh, 94. That's quite late. I mean, when was the PlayStation out? Da, 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 da. Star, Star King James on route to Earth, delivering new cadets to start the Academy. Well, last leg of the trip. Trip. Nervous? A bit. Oh, whoops. I skipped that. Simulator. Options. Stereo. On. Okay. New game, let's go. Gender, male, first name, Scott. <laughs> right, I can't enter it. <laughs> okay, Mike, Jason, Cor Daryl, Scott. The female names, Kim, Colleen, Lisa, Paula, Yolanda, Helen, Kim. Right, okay. Uh, I feel like a Kim. Let's go for Kim Urquin, Solomon, Carino, Oh, 94. Okay. Carino Moroni. Moroni. Oops, I keep missing it. Kim Moroni. Skill level. Uh, average. Average. Advanced. Legend. Let's do average. Select to begin. Ooh. Wow, okay. Uh, <laughs> let's go to see Einstein. Uh, listen. The red alert must be sounded whenever your ship enters an emergency situation. It informs the crew that they are they must prepare for a crisis. Red alert raises the shields and raises the weapon systems. Yellow alert is okay. I'm playing, I kind of get that. We should read right. We are learning. Transcript. Okay, refresh one. Okay. Oops. Okay, we've done the learning. What's this? Would you like to take a basic training mission? Yes. I could use the extra training. Okay. Welcome cadets to your Mark IV Oberth, uh, Oberth class. You have entered basic training mode and will practice several simple drills to help you become familiar with basic starship operation. Mission 1. Basic sublight navigation. This mission will focus on maneuvering your ship in a single sector of space. You will be required to fly to close range for four marker buoys. David Bowie. Um, you will be notified when you have reached each <laughs> be careful. Remember that collisions in space can destroy your vessel. Yes, I am well aware. Oh, right. Wow, this is not bad for snares. Okay. How do we accelerate? I am pressing buttons, but they are not doing anything, so I'm going to assume I'm just going straight. Original, uh... Wrath of Khan soundtrack there. Let this guy in the bottom right is just silently judging me. How do I accelerate? Oh, no, that's pause. 
Ooh. Engineering. Okay, engineering priority. Uh, let's do... Oh, it's repair priority. All right, exit. Navigation. Ooh. Oops, you have not been ordered to walk to another sector. Okay. You have reached David Bowie 1. Excellent. What now? Where's David Bowie 2? <laughs> oh, actually, I can see on my navigation pane there. Oh, uh, okay. Right, yeah. Let's go to David Bowie 2. Meanwhile, I want to have a look at this. What have we got? Communications. Hail. No response, Captain. Right, exit. Helm. Red alert. Tactical on. Tractor beam. Oh, okay. Sciences. Okay, this is fairly in-depth. Oh, no. Let's go. Exit. Exit. Okay. This is... Oh, wow. Ha <laughs> I found my phasers. Wow. I mean, this is pretty good for snare standards. But we do have to go to marker, movie, do. Which is going to take us time getting there. Okay, I think I've worked out this game now. How do we exit? <laughs> All right, we'll have to go to all the marker buoys in our Air Earth class starship. Can I go any faster? Oh, I reached buoy two. Right, David buoy three. Mm, above or below? What do we reckon? Ah, there's David buoy three. Can I go faster? I'm going backwards now. Right, hang on. Um, am I going? Hang on, wait, what? How do I go forwards? Ah, why? Ah, there's my speed, ah. Ah, I've worked out my speed now, okay, okay, that's fine, right. Set course for David Berry 3. That's a bit better. Reach buoy four. Full speed, Mr. Sulu esque replacement. I can only get half speed, okay. Reach buoy three. Congratulations, you've successfully maneuvered to each buoy. Now let's try using the navigation system to warp to another sector of space. Please navigate to sector 1221. Identified as base 1221. Okay, let's not hit the buoy. Okay, helm. Uh, no. Navigation, navigation. 1221. Okay. Woo! Cool, we're in 1221. Using the tractor beam. In this sector, there is a buoy and a starbase. Pick up the buoy with the tractor beam and drop it off near the starbase. Okay. Once you complete the mission, use the hail option on the communication control star base. Right, hang on, hang on, hang on. So, hang on, star tractor beam. How do I use my... Oops. Oh, wow, it's Nephrosian, look. Wow. Okay. Uh, hang on. Hell, no. Ah, tractor beam. Uh, the boom is out of range of the tractor beam. You must get closer. Okay, right. Good to know. All my torpedoes. You destroyed the buoy! Simulation terminated. Okay. You are dismissed. <laughs> okay, right, we've done that. <laughs> wow. Right, dinner time. Let's talk. Talk to Colond. I'm Jeff Colland. I'll be running the helm and also be your first officer. Awesome. Great, looking forward to working with you. I read your performance file. You are a very capable helmsman. Should give us a few points on our grade. With with me along, you'll be sure to get a few points for start anyway. Hey, well done, Ronaldo. I am the host of Academy Lounge. Just call me Jones. What have you got, Jones? We don't serve alcohol here. I do like to make my own beverages. I'll have to get you to try some. Right, bathtub beer. Love it. Okay, what's this? 
Though our mission is always one of peace, Starfleet realizes the potential of possible conflict. Oh, okay, right. Two player training. Balance of terror! <gasps> yes, please. Captain's Law, Stardate 1709.2. Patrolling the outpost, guarding the neutral zone between the planet Romulus and the rest of the galaxy. Received emergency call from Outpost 4. The USS Enterprise is moving to investigate and assist. Right, first off, red alert. Uh, where was red alert? Ah, in here. Red alert, because... Right, let's increase speed. Nope, that's forwards. That's speed. There we go. What's going on? Where are we doing? Right, uh, science. Combat mode, status report, computer exit, sensor sweep. Sensors show nothing unusual, Captain. Okay. Uh, navigation. Oh, wow. Let's go there. This is cool. Ah, what's this? Federation outpost. Sir, regaining contact with Outpost 4. Oops, no. Go forward. Forward, 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 forward. Oh, I have a blip on the motion sensor, Captain. It should be the intruder. His heading is towards the corners. 13, 1322. All right, let's head. Okay, 1322. This is cool. 1322. We're now in the violation of the Neutral Zone Treaty, Captain. Awesome. You allowed a Romulan vessel to escape due to your failure. The Federation was plunged into war with the Romulan Empire. Call me Captain Pike. <laughs> okay. Uh, Wrath of Khan? Basic training skill level average. Okay, let's do the Wrath of Garden and then we'll call it on this one. Uh, sir, it's Dr. Carol Marcus. Uh, how do we do comms? Comms? Communications. Hail. Jim? Jim? Jim, can you read me? I can hear you, Carol. What's wrong? What's the matter? Why are you taking Genesis away from us? Taking Genesis? Wh who's taking Genesis? Jim, did you give the order? What order? Who's talking Genesis? Please help us, Jim. I will not let them have Genesis without pro- uh, Yeah, you know Wrath of Khan. Okay. There's no response from regular one. No longer jam. No, sir, nothing. Right, where's regular one then? Navigation. Hmm, is it here? Great. Indicate a vessel in air closing fast. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. We need to go. Red alert. Red alert. Shields are going up. They're locking phases. <gasps> Some bitch. <gasps> wow. Okay. Uh, full speed, Mr. Sulu. Oh, I can't go full speed for some reason. We're at holes at 50%. Get the prefix code. Why is my speed not going up higher? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. 25%. I can't steer. Come here, Reliant. Ugh. This is really hard to do with, like, analog controls. Coming around for another pass. We should send a distress signal. He tasks me. By the book, Lieutenant. No, nope, we're dead. We should s oh, okay. We like Khan to escape with the Genesis torpedo. Okay, I, I think we've seen enough of this. <laughs> That's pretty cool, though. That's not bad for a SNES game. That's pretty good. Okay. And there is one game I have on here, which is not in my library. Uh, should be in my PlayStation games. Did I put it into the library? 
No, hang on. Oh, I think I may have to find on the file system. Bear with me a minute. Look contents. Oh God, where did I download it to? Here. Games, ROMs, PlayStation, Star Trek Invasion. That one? Is it going to work? Mm. Yeah, there it is. Right, let me just turn the volume down. Sorry. There we go. Oh, classic Sony boost screen. Sorry, I'm just going to tweak something here. There we go. All right. He dust. What was that? Warthog. Probe H0169 active in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Probe systems deployed. Ship's log. Starfleet science vessel USS Lovell. Captain Zidane Blackwood recording. Oh, wow. We received disturbing sensor recordings from a Class 5 probe we sent to the nearby Titan system. I'm relaying to Starfleet the visual data gathered by the probe before it was destroyed. Borg! That's always the Borg. Captain's log, Stardate 54111.79. A force of Borg warships are currently passing through Klingon space, on course for Sector 001, Earth. The Federation is assembling a flotilla of warships, but we need to delay the oh, Borg wow, I wasn't while expecting we this. our forces. Lieutenant Commander Worf will brief the elite of the Starfleet's pilots aboard the USS Typhon, a mobile outpost and carrier starship. Pilots, as of this star date, you are assigned to the Valkyrie okay, Squadron aboard the USS Typhon. Capable of launching 26 Valkyrie-class ships, the Typhon has a full array of pulse phaser turrets and quantum torpedo tubes, as well as complete medical and scientific facilities. Together, the Valkyries and the Typhon are the most effective fighting force in this sector. I expect you to improve... The Titan, yeah, what's the Titan? <gasps> Training wow. will begin immediately. Okay, I wasn't expecting a full voice cast, but I suppose it's... Star Trek Invasion! Oh, pressing buttons. Oh, there we go. Let's try that one. Okay, let's have a look. Just check options. Video. Okay. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, how do I go back? Okay, that button. Controller configuration, motion lock view, difficulty. Cadet, because yeah, because we're playing on an emulator version. Yeah, how do I go back? Oh my god, all the buttons are all sorts of. Right, let's start game. Please select a mission. That's definitely Major Roddenberry. That's amazing. Mission one, mission two, mission one, and mission two. Well, I guess we start with mission one. Mission selected. Welcome to the Valkyrie training program. I am Lieutenant Commander Worf and I will be your tactical officer for the duration of this operation. Someone tag stars, please. I will assess your performance throughout your tour of duty and instruct you on the use of weapon systems and helm control. Training missions will be flown under a time limit, and I will observe and grade your performance based on your combat skills, reaction time, and accuracy. Your ships have been fitted with a standard weapons configuration. Begin now. Oh, wow. Ooh. Fly through the training rings. Tractor pods and tow through rings. Destroy all hollow targets. Destroy all hollow ships. Pursue and engage hollow squadrons. Wow. 
What? Oh, these are, yes, these are training. Charge weapon deactivated. Right, hold. Right, that's my, okay. Oh, that's my phaser select. Oh, a type nine phaser. Okay. Uh, presser beam. Type 10 phaser. Okay. Quite like the type. No, I'll let that phase out. How do I accelerate? No. That's torpedo. That's my phaser select. That's phaser fire. Ah! Timer activated. Oh shit, timer. Okay, let's fly through the rings. <laughs> what every star. Oh my god, that's sensitive. Ugh. Because this is PlayStation, I don't have. I, I'm having to use the D pad, not a. Whoa! What the fuck happened there? Uh, accelerate? Oh no, shit, how do I accelerate? There we go. Yes! Wow. Okay. Okay, we've gone through the rings. I went through the rings. Was I not supposed to? Ugh, I better fuck something up here. Uh, right, hang on, right. No, I didn't go through that ring properly. Right, okay. <laughs> right, let's go round. Turn, turn, in we go. Okay, we've done it, we've done it now. Right, let's go. Hold, roll, yeah, but you said hold what? Oh, okay. Because emulators get me. I'll try spinning, that's a good trick. Sorry, wrong franchise. Yeah, I know about rolling. Woo woo woo. I, does anyone want to feel like this is Star Trek yet? So track. Nice soundtrack though. Right, Wolf, I've done your I've done your discs. Oh no, I haven't. One more. Okay. Now what? Where where have they gone? Oh, oh, wow, there's a first person mode. Okay, that's cool. Oh, hang on. Okay, that's cool. So I've got a variety of objectives to perform in 76 seconds. Shit. Uh, what? Uh, mission objectives. Fly through training rings, done that. Track to pods and tow through rings. Destroy all hull targets, destroy all hull, hollow targets. Pursue and engage hollow squadrons. Right. I got a feeling I'm going to fail this quite badly because... What? Okay, let's go through the rings again. I feel like I'm doing something wrong here. Ah, nope. Oh no, I glitched into the, into the scenery. Okay, 13. All right, maybe we just go through these. Uh, maybe? I don't like there's a timer. That doesn't seem fair. Why is there a timer? I'm learning how to play the game. I'm only like eight years old. Come on. There we go. God damn it, it's even harder with analog controls. There we go, with these like, we have to use the D-pad. Hello, Ten hello. seconds remaining. Yeah, thanks. Five, four, oh my three, God. two, one. Do I blow up? Mission terminated. Like what? Okay, restart mission. Yes. Okay, we can do this this time. Why is it on a timer before I get to the actual game? This is like, do you remember a game called Driver? You had to complete some bullshit, like, 
go through a parking lot and complete every one of the missions within like about a minute. Yeah, yeah, I know. I bet a lot of people bought this game just got past this and went, no. Right, let's go. We can do Timer this. Activated. Hold to accelerate. It doesn't actually tell you what the button is though. <laughs> Luckily, I've worked it out. Right, so we get past these two. Oh, actually, it actually does show you the next one when it, when it generates, so that's cool, okay. Oh, I do this mode, look at this. Straight in the cockpit, first person mode. That's pretty cool. This era of game, anyway. But I actually prefer this mode. I hope every mission is not like on a timer. It's the kind of things they did in this era of games. They're just like, well, you know, we need to add a little extra level of difficulty, so let's put a timer in there to make it interesting and expand the gameplay out instead of in in introducing actual gameplay. But it does go to show to people like, whoops. Fuck, 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 fuck. Ah, shit, I fucked up here. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Ooh. I think I'm going the wrong way. No, I went the wrong way. Dun, 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 dun. Let's go. Where's the next one? Shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, there it is, there it is. No, we're good, we're good, we're good. Into the planet. Um, you know, it's the level of difficulty. People say like the old games are much more difficult than they were. They really were. But then it's coming off the, like kind of the arcade. Um, you know, skill was a thing, and people wanted to be skilled, so they could put more quarters into the cabinets, and then kind of expand it into well, people need to be more skilled because they made it more interesting, and then they hit the limitations of the consoles being. Like, well, we can't do too much on these things that require simulation, but... Okay, we're doing, we're doing okay, we're doing okay. I kind of hope they take off the time of bullshit after uh, we get through these rings. Come on, how many more rings can there be? Oh my god, why? Like, seriously, Wolf, I've worked out how to fly this thing. Uh, he says. Seriously, they're begging me enough time to get through these on default speed. There we go. Anyone feeling tricky yet? Oh my god, how many of these are there? Hear me tapping away at my fucking console and my, my, my controller here. Man, no, I, I remember the first PlayStation games before you had the dual con joysticks. Hold. Ten seconds remaining. Yeah, I know. Well, hang on, what the fuck? Five, four, three, two, one. Mission terminated. Yeah, you know what? Game terminated. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what have I not played yet? What have we not played out of this list? So we've done 25th anniversary, like, Bridge Simulator, next generation for the NES, for the Game Boy, we did? Maybe. No, we did. We did generations for the Game Boy, didn't we? Futures Past, we did. Echo. Oh, hang on. Futures past echoes for the past for the genesis for the genesis. I wonder if that's pretty much the same gla same game. Let's find out. I'm sure it's pretty much the same game. Uh, genesis core. Oh, there we go. yes. Oh, nice. They beamed in the Sega logo.
Okay, no, it's the same game, isn't it? Yes, it's, it's, it's the same game. Okay, fine. Yeah, we won't do that again. <laughs> fine. That's kind of what I suspected. But they just called it a different name. E Future's Past. Echoes from the past. Uh, next generation for the Game Boy. Did we play this? I don't think we did. Did we? Let's try this. Dear oh dear. These are awful. <laughs> Ninety-three. Okay, so this is before the series ended. Okay. Oh, look at that. What? Oh no! Wait, hang on. This seems very familiar. The freighter is the freighter near Krios is about to suffer a warp core breach. Rescue the crew before the freighter explodes. Uh. Okay. Uh, oh, right, I select a crew here, right, so we want to reforge? Uh, right. Okay. What, 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 what? Um, um, I'm trying to go back. Ah, that's back, right, okay. Data. Aha. Uh -huh. Right, course, course. I forget, Altair 6? Let's go Altair 6. No? Is that course? No? This starts easy, I think, but a bit dull. More rings to get in orbit. Oh, we're talking about the last one. Chief O'Brien! No. Oh, we can move. Okay, set course. Oh, no, that's my fast forward. Uh, nope, nope. Ah, that? oh, that's the local map. Right. How do we accelerate? Mm, nope, nope. Right, Wharf, Data, Brian, Riker. What do you tell me? Nick Krios. Right, we need to go to Krios. I have nothing to report at this time. Okay, that's great, Riker. And Data is the one that sets course. Ah. Right, so this is where I do... Uh. <sighs> Caution? What were you cautioning? Uh, what? Okay. Alright, not data. The ship has failed to achieve a stable orbit. <laughs> right, okay. Ah, Krios. But why can't I set course? They're just beeping at me. Alright. No. Game Boy is not the best game to do that with. Right, um... Oh, bloody hell. All right. Close content. I thought we'd close content. Okay, let's try. I'm going to guess that that's the same. Um, I think that's going to be the same. Bonus snares. Okay, this is the same game, but... Oh, yeah, okay, this is the same game, but on a SNES. Stolen cargo has been... Yeah, okay. So, yeah, like, don't come on a data, but it's just snazzier looking. Let's go to Krios, come on. Can't go to Krios. Won't let me go! No. Okay. I think we've run out of Star Trek games. Uh, let me do a search... Which was that under? Search scan file. No, search name. Let's do Star Trek. 25th anniversary. Beyond the Nexus. Oh, Generations Beyond the Nexus. Yeah, that's where we fought Tholians. And that's for the Game Boy, the SNES. I think we've exhausted all the Star Trek games. This has been fun.
There are some goddamn shit games out there. <laughs> um, thank you for joining me. Uh, I'm going to call it there. Uh, it's been fun. I'm sure there was like, you know, back in the days, there was manuals and things to get you through this kind of stuff. And like games back then were a lot more, you know, I'm, I'm spoiled. I'm, I'm I'm used to a game just giving me the full explanation of going, what, what, what do you do here and what do you do there? But hey, oh. We are. We will be back. I will be back this Wednesday with stars and maybe shy. I think shy's coming on. Shy, if you're listening, coming on for fashion trek. Uh, we'll be talking about. We're going to be tearing uniforms. We're going to be deciding what is the best uniform to wear for the season and all that kind of thing uh, at that time. But for now, uh, we'll. I'll see you soon. Um, I don't think I'm going to play anything else tonight but uh, thank you for joining me hoping I make a fashion check absolutely you can strut down the catwalk show your stuff come bring your fashions actually if any of you guys got some cosplays if you've got any images of you guys in in uniforms uh, send them to me and we will we will exhibit it but uh, from now see you soon uh, where's my button for going black there it is bye bye tara